We got a brand new trailer for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, this has been a weird game for a lot of people because it was announced years ago without a subtitle, mm -hmm. and then we saw that first like sort of cinematic for it on the Wii U. It was this gorgeous sort of like um, half watercolor, half cel shaded game. There he is, that little wiggler. And uh, I got really excited for it, but then the Wii U tanked, and we were like, where does this game go? Like, does it go on the NX? Does it go on the Wii U? Turns out it goes on both. Uh, this is Wii U footage we saw, but last week at E3, we watched what felt like four full days of press conferences, and mm -hmm. we woke up on Tuesday morning, bright and early, for Nintendo's conference like we always do, although this year they didn't do a conference, they just did a live stream, and they showed this trailer. And this trailer just completely broke me. And I don't know why, maybe I was just tired from E3, maybe it was like four full days of just like watching people shoot each other in games, mm -hmm. and guys getting stabbed and blown up. And then I saw this, and I heard that music, and I saw this artwork, and I saw Link taking a jump off that cliff, and I realized how, A, beautiful this game looks, and B, how the Zelda franchise has kind of been with, there, with me since I was five years old. Yeah. Like, I, Legend of Zelda is one of the first games I ever booted up on the Nintendo Entertainment System with the gold cart. I immediately got lost in that world, just like I will in this game. And I can't really put my finger on why it's such a special thing for me to just have this, like, this boy, just just like boy like wonder of being like, I'm this warrior in this world and I'm vulnerable and I'm scared and I'm on that horse <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing. But this 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 theme song, the, the music yeah. of the Legend of Zelda has been coming from my living room since I was a kid. And my uh, really funny story, but my mom, um, I, have a, I have a younger brother who's eight years younger than me and my mom was pregnant with him while I was playing the crap out of this game uh, through all of my adolescence. And she actually got to the point where she couldn't hear the theme song to Zelda without getting motion sickness. So it actually, this the theme song makes her nauseous and it makes me like wistful and nostalgic. Yeah. So all of that kind of comes together, huh. but this has just been such a special franchise for me. Uh, and in the E3 war room, in a leather jacket, with a scruffy face, I started crying in front of all my friends and I looked around and a couple people gave me looks and a couple people, couple, couple people smirked, but a couple others had a few teardrops in their eyes as well. So I just want to say thank you to Nintendo and to the Legend of Zelda franchise for kind of always being there. You've had some weird missteps. Mm -hmm. I still haven't finished Skyward Sword. The first five hours of Twilight Princess are dull as hell, but man, Zelda is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to do no that. No arguments, so, man. Yeah, you get to fight uh, that rock I'm, guy. I'm part of me just doesn't want to look at this because I just want it to be like I want my I want to get my hands on it and I want to I want to play it. I want to get lost in that world. Yeah. Uh, this looks like you know return to form for Zelda. Like when I stop and think about it, like I think Link to the Past was one of the first openish world games I ever played. Mm -hmm. I mean the, the original Zelda was like that too, but uh, yeah, Link to the Past was my was my generation that, that got me into that. And yeah. I, you know, yeah. And I think that's like, Link to the Past, you know, was a little more linear, but it also did have that open world feel of mm -hmm. being like, and that scene right there is straight out of Link to the Past. That's what I love about Breath of the Wild, is that it's bringing together so much imagery from classic Zelda games, yeah. and putting them all, like, in, in this sort of same experience. Like, that idea of just waking up in this world and turning the corner and being like, I don't know what I have to do, I don't know who's gonna kill me, yeah. I don't know who I have to fight. Uh, it's very cool. So. I'm very happy this game's coming. Good. I'm, I'm very worried that uh, it's gonna be delayed again, like most things. Miyamoto has that quote about how a, you know games get delayed and a, a good game gets, you know, I'm botching it completely. But either way, uh, you will have to wait for something this magical, and uh, it's going to be a while. But yeah. I have a feeling I'm gonna be playing this on the NX. They're gonna get me to buy a whole new console all over again. And uh, this is a good time to be alive.